Welcome to SkillCore version 8.0. This is the senior project for the College of Engineering and Computing Sciences at Florida International University during the summer of 2017. My name is Richard Rodriguez and our team is composed of two developers, Debe Shao Merini and myself. The name of our product owner is Kumundur Trusteson, better known as Kumi, and he is the founder and CEO of SkillCore. Our instructor is Dr. Masu Sajadi. Soccer is one of the oldest sports in the world. Players are regularly trained by a coach, but a coach cannot attend to all the players at the same time. SkillCore has many features built in, but it currently does not have a way to alert players that a game is about to start. The current implementation lacks a way for the coaches to create predetermined sequences which can be used by players to train their skills in the court. The new version of SkillCore has been implemented to provide an alert to let the player know that a game is about to start. It implements predetermined sequences which can be created by the coaches so players can use them to train and improve their skills. SkillCore is already a great package and it's full of features. Our product owner has a lot of creativity, so this semester he tasks us with adding more features to get this product closer to a market release. The tasks that we were assigned as user stories were as follows. 1. Say battery. 2. Game sounds. 3. Predetermined sequences. 4. Set up accounts. And 5. Connect directly to Arduino. Let's briefly look at these stories. For say battery, the user story was, as a user, I would like to save battery on my hardware so that it would last longer. The objective was, currently when the game is running, the pads that are not stroke should not be lighting up with the red LEDs. The code should be changed so that the inactive pads remain in an off state and briefly flash only when they are incorrectly struck. For the game sounds, the user story was, as a user, I would like to hear an audible sound when a game starts and when a game ends so that the user can pay attention to the game. The objective was, the current system does not provide any audible acknowledgement to the user that the game is about to start. This will be useful as a user might want to keep doing all their active work while waiting for the game to set up. An audible acknowledgement allows the user that is currently distracted elsewhere to go directly to the game and play. Predetermined sequences. The user story was, as a user, I want to be able to set up a predetermined sequence to be used in gameplay so that other users can use it as a template. The objective, the current system selects one of the four paths at random instead of following a predetermined sequence. A predetermined sequence allows a coach to create a pad sequence that is specific for the players so that the player can build strength on the areas where they are weak. For setup accounts, the user story was, as a coach, I would like to be able to create accounts for my players so that I can better manage my team and easily assign them practice sequences. The objective, the current system only recognizes one type of user. This implementation will allow for the separation of roles, those that have privileged access, the coaches, and the regular users, the players. And the last one, connect directly to Arduino, the user story was, as a manufacturer, I want to cut the cost of my hardware and have a more responsive system in order to have a more affordable and reliable product. The objective was, Currently, the setup of the game system requires the use of a Raspberry Pi as a hotspot and the Arduino chips that connect to the hotspot, and any mistake or misstep may result in failure to connect. 